Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ivan here. And if you haven't checked out my vlog about my skincare procedure, please go and check it out. I got it done in Korea. And I basically got uh, three lasers done to my face, which is IPL, fractional laser, and I think another IPL treatment. Um, it was called like a 3D laser treatment in Apkujong Rodeo. So if you haven't checked it out, this is my skin now. Um, yeah, and I'll show you how I use products to heal and soothe my skin. And, uh, and also, if you have broken skin, uh, skin that's gone through plastic surgery or peels in the last time, in the last week or something, you can use this to soothe your skin and it also comes a lot of brightness. First of all, I'm going in with this Sunjung Toner. It contains metacasticide and also panthenol, which is from a B5. These are very skin conditioning agents and it's very, very gentle. This, most of these products are fragrance-free and alcohol-free, so it will not burn your skin or sting your skin. Um, I think the exception is only the sunscreen that has essential oil, but everything else is not. Next, I'm going in with this Secret Key Snail Repairing Essence, and it's more like a serum type thing. It's really, really moisturizing. The snail and secretion and glycerin and peptides will help keep the skin well moisturized and conditioned. Going in, I'm going to mix it with the Centella Blemish Ampule. And Centella Asiaica is a skin um, healing agent, and a lot of studies have shown that it helps skin repair and helps reduce inflammation. Whenever I use this serum, the redness definitely goes down. And you want to be careful, just like tap the skin gently, don't tug on any scars or anything because you don't want to remove scabs prematurely that will cause a lot of scarring and like texture scarring. Using this metacasticide cream, it's very very silky and very nice to use. I use it at night time too. I use it a little bit in the daytime to help moisturize the skin a little bit more. Moisture will help keep help the skin heal faster and definitely you want to make sure you moisturize. Using a hydrocolloid dressing and what this does it is it accelerates wound healing and it also keeps bacteria out of the skin and keeping the moisture inside the hydrocolloid patch will accelerate the healing and make sure your skin i guess make sure you don't touch the scab so it falls prematurely so it's just good to like have that there and this one really helps with me touching my scabs because you know you shouldn't do that in the daytime you definitely want to go in with a physical sunscreen because a chemical sunscreen is a little bit more abrasive in my opinion like it burns my skin a little bit um, i might just be allergic but physical sunscreens are the way to go especially after a procedure because it is very very gentle and it's more mild in my experience there's usually a little bit of white cast with physical sunscreen but that's just the action and the property of the sunscreen so if you want to opt for a tinted one instead you can go ahead um, i just chose not to because i don't want any pigment on my skin as well while it's healing if it's a nighttime routine, just switch out the sunscreens for these two gentle sleeping packs. They're fragrance-free and contain metacasticide and pentanol, which really helps accelerate wound healing. So yeah, that is my simple routine for when I'm getting peels, procedures, or I want to reduce inflammation. It also really helps calm down any rosacea or anything like that. So I went from this skin to um, I'll show you a week later my skin looks a lot clearer and a lot more healed so if you haven't checked out my vlog please go check it out um, I'll show you how I got them done and where I got them done and just hanging out with my friends so yeah this is my skin today it's still a little bit red in some areas and uh, I didn't remove all my dark circles because I like freckles still and I like my moles but um, it healed tremendously so thank you for watching, go check out my vlog, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!